Okay, now let's consider when we don't have any special case as such where volume or pressure or temperature is constant. Suppose uh, nothing is constant, all of them are changing. Then in that case, if we are interested to calculate entropy, then again we have to begin with the same basic definition of ds is equal to dq reversible by t. Now we have to use thermodynamics first law in order to get q. Because from here, the, the expression of the first law contains q, so it's uh, convenient to derive the expression of q from thermodynamics first law. Now, delta U for an idle gas is always NCV dt, if a small change of internal energy we are looking at. Work done is minus PdV, a small amount of dW, and a small amount of heat is dQ. From here, we can see that dQ is equal to NCV dt plus PdV. Fine? Now, ds is equal to dq reversible by t and dq reversible here is ncv dt plus pdv by t in now the total change in entropy delta s will be integral of ds will be integral of these two terms ncv dt by t plus integral pdv by t. Now integral of first term is easy because it's dt by t and here you can't integrate this expression because the integral is in terms of volume and the expression is not a function of volume. So somehow we have to generate the function which we are integrating as a function of volume then only we can integrate the given expression. Now this can be done very easily by press writing pressure as nRT by V. This comes from idle gas equation. Now TT gets cancelled and we have the expression to be integrated as this. Now this integration is simple and easy. This you can get as NCV ln T final by T initial plus NR ln v final by v initial once we put the limits. So this is the expression of change in entropy for an idle gas. This is an important expression and you must remember this. Let's quickly solve a small problem using this formula for the entropy change in entropy for an idle gas. Suppose I have a chamber in this chamber, I have a monoatomic gas. The temperature of gas is 300 Kelvin and the volume is V. The given gas is monoatomic gas. Now, I change the state of the system such that the volume of the chamber is doubled. Now, it is at volume 2V. Temperature is also doubled at 600 Kelvin. Then you have been asked to find out what was the entropy change during this process. Now for entropy change of an idle gas, you will always use this expression. Now in this expression, you just put down the values. One thing I have to give you more, that one mole of gas is there. This information, otherwise you have to keep the answer in terms of N. You have, then using this expression, N is given. CV for a monoatomic gas, we know. CV for a monoatomic gas is 3 by 2 R. This information you learn when you study the chapter gaseous state. In case you haven't, then don't bother. Just know that CV is equal to 3 by 2 R. And do bother if you have studied the chapter uh, atomic uh, gaseous state and you don't know this. You must be knowing this. Now, if you put just the values, TF and T0 all are given. V final is 2V, V initial is V. So that will be cancelled out. And you will get a simple answer using this expression. Delta S, if you calculate from here, you will get CV plus R into ln2. And CV plus R, if you put CV as 3 by 2 R, and the value of R, you have to know, is 8.314 Joule per Kelvin mole. 
This is the value of R in this unit, Joule per Kelvin mole. Fine. Now, the unit of S we know is Joule per Kelvin. And when you multiply with this N, the small mole gets cancelled and you'll get Joule per Kelvin. So, that's the unit of entropy. So, you, if you put the values, you'll get the answer as 14.4 Joule per Kelvin. Now, you have to get to the answer and you have to learn to get to the answer because in physical chemistry, you don't have to shy away from calculations. There will be considerable amount of calculation in few problems and you just have to face it and solve it. So, that's, this is about calculation of entropy of idle gas. Now, let's solve few trivial problems. Those would be of standard of your board exam. And uh, once we go through those trivial problems, we'll have certain basic idea. And then we'll solve, after solving those trivial problems, some advanced problems of ITJ level. To build up, to build up the concept and just to make ourselves comfortable with these topics, Let's start solving few easy problems. Suppose I have a reaction given as this, N2 gas plus hydrogen. This is a very important famous reaction of preparation of ammonia. This is how ammonia gas is prepared. Now, uh, suppose I have to calculate, so someone asked me to calculate the change in entropy for this particular reaction. Now, in this case, in these kind of reactions, what we do, we have to calculate, if we have to calculate the change in entropy, then we calculate the entropy, change in entropy. Suppose they have been asking at us at standard condition. Standard condition meaning, if it's a solution, the concentration of solution should be one molar. If it's a pressure, then the at then the if it's a gas then the pressure of the gas should be 1 atm these conditions are standard conditions now suppose uh, for standard condition to signify that these entropies are at standard condition we put a not in a superscript so delta s not means change in entropy at standard condition will be delta s not of product minus delta s not of reactant now the reason why it should be like this is suppose suppose uh, this nitrogen and these hydrogen actually have been made from nitrogen atom initially there would have been some uh, nitrogen atoms and initially there would have been hydrogen atoms now from these two nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atom you have made this nitrogen gas and this hydrogen gas so if we know the entropy at this state when they were in atomic state and now there is some entropy value now this delta s of reactant that we are talking about that delta s is the delta s, s change in entropy when the atoms are in this state f uh, minus i mean the change in entropy when the atoms goes from this state to this state that means when they were in atomic form to the one in which they are, where they are in molecular form now this is entropy change of reactant now entropy change of product is from this state on going from this state to this state state here as well if you see there are two nitrogen atoms in product and six hydrogen atoms in the form of two molecules of ammonia so you can you can see this whole thing the reactant as they are going from this state to this state and product as they are going from this state to this state so this delta s of product is delta entropy at this state minus entropy at this state delta s of reactant and delta s of product is entropy at this state minus entropy as this state so when you are asked to entropy change in this reaction from this state to this state you can directly do delta s of product minus delta s of reactant because the entropy which whatever the entropy was in this state is common to both the reactants and products so when you actually subtract it the entropy value whatever it was at this state will be cancelled out so first we do a that we don't need to know whatever the entropy value was when the hydrogen and nitrogen atoms were in atomic state so this part is being cancelled out so if we find delta s of product and delta s of reactant and we subtract them then we will get the change in entropy that has happened during the course of reaction 
So that's the idea and that's why we do delta S of product minus delta S of reactant to calculate delta S of the reaction. Fine.